Fondation Bet Ariel. And Hak Samer, to everyone. Hak Samer, à vous. Uh, joyeuse fête de Purim. So happy um, holidays for Purim season. It's a special um, feast uh, for Israel. It's also a special feast for every believer in the Messiah, the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua. Uh, for we remember that as God has kept Israel um, by his faithfulness because of his chesed, his loving kindness, he's always going to keep us believers who trust in uh, Yeshua. He will always keep us. Uh, whatever happens in our lives, he's faithful and nothing can separate, uh, separate us from him. I would like to ask you to stand up, please. We're going to begin the, the time of worship. And this time uh, also is a dedicated time because um, we want to really think about the Lord all through this time of worship and the study of His Word and to meditate on His Word and to uh, sing for His glory, to lift up our hands, uh, to meditate on the lyrics because this is how we are going to be transformed into the image of the Messiah Yeshua as we do it all together as one body in Him. So let us praise our, our Lord. Adinu, Adinu, Sheba Shamaim, Tzur Yisrael Goro, Adinu, Adinu, Sheba Shamaim, Altogether, 
The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. For thus says the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory to the nations which plunder you, for he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. Amman raconta à Zeresh, sa femme, et à tous ses amis, tout ce qui lui était arrivé. Et ses sages et Zeresh, sa femme, lui dirent, « Si Mardoché devant lequel tu as commencé de tomber est de la race des Juifs, tu ne pourras rien contre lui, mais tu tomberas devant lui. » Tous ensemble. « Je bénirai ceux qui te béniront, et je maudirai ceux qui te maudiront. » Et toutes les familles de la terre seront bénies en toi. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. When I fall, I will arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he pleads my case and executes justice for me, he will bring me forth to the light. I will see his righteousness. Then she who is my enemy will see, and shame will cover her who said to me, Where is the Lord your God? All together, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Sans l'Éternel qui nous protégea, qu'Israël le dise. Sans l'Éternel qui nous protégea, quand les hommes s'élevèrent contre nous, ils nous auraient engloutis tout vivant, quand leur colère s'enflamma contre nous. Béni soit l'Éternel qui ne nous a pas livrés en proie à leurs dents. Tous ensemble, ne crains rien car je suis avec toi. Ne promène pas des regards inquiets car je suis ton Dieu. Je te fortifie, je viens à ton secours, je te soutiens de ma droite triomphante. Voici, ils seront confondus, ils seront couverts de honte, tous ceux qui sont irrités contre toi. Ils seront réduits à rien, ils périront, ceux qui disputent contre toi. For thus says the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. All together. Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel. From everlasting to everlasting, yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Je dis à ceux qui se glorifient, ne, glori ne vous glorifiez pas. Et aux méchants, n'élevez pas la tête. N'élevez pas si haut votre tête. Ne parlez pas avec tant d'arrogance. Dieu est celui qui juge. Il abaisse l'un et il élève l'autre. Je publierai ces choses à jamais. Je chanterai en l'honneur du Dieu de Jacob. Tous ensemble, béni soit l'Éternel. Notre âme s'est échappée comme l'oiseau du filet des oiseleurs. Le filet s'est rompu et nous nous sommes échappés. Notre secours est dans le nom de l'Éternel qui a fait les cieux et la terre.
betrothed you to me forever in righteousness and justice and loving kindness and in compassion I will betroth you to me forever I will betroth you to me forever in righteousness and justice loving kindness and in compassion I will betroth you to me in faithfulness I will betroth you to me in mercy I will betroth you to me and you shall know Jehovah your God tonight at sundown Purim is an intriguing story filled with what appears to be one coincidence after another but as far as the Bible is concerned there are no coincidences God is not a God of chance he is the sovereign Lord and he is the master over every chance we get in life and if you think that God has forgotten about you then Esther is the book for you because you are not here by chance but by choice and your circumstances which you face today is not by fate but by fashion and design God wants to tell us that he has a hold on every detail of our lives even though we might not see his signature everywhere just as we don't read his great name mentioned in this story his power and authority is written and sealed behind every word in Esther's story and in our story as well thank you Lord for your faithfulness throughout all the generations yes this is the time of our rejoicing Worship God and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Throughout generations, he's the same. He will say, Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Through all generations, he will say, Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Through all generations, he will say, He is faithful. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord forevermore. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord forever. La vérité du Seigneur, que son nom soit béni, que son nom soit béni, il a révélé sa vérité, que son nom soit béni, que son nom soit béni, il a révélé sa vérité, sa 
fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa fidélité, sa God forevermore. May I go to God. 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 May I go to God.
being entry, entry into the king's presence. Such is the sad case for those who are called, for God wants all to know him, and many have been called and refuse the true king's invitation. Imagine a foreigner to the Medo-Persian kingdom, Esther, rises from complete obscurity to be queen. Well, what about us? Let us, each one of us, think about our own story. God has called us by name to become his. None of us were anything special before God chose us, but now we have been pulled from obscurity. We have invaluable worth in his eyes, and God's scepter has been stretched, inviting us to have a seat beside the King of Kings, to be alongside him, to be close, and to be in the presence of the great I Am. I want to be close, close to your side, so heaven is real and death is a lie. I want to hear voices of angels above, singing as one, hallelujah, holy, holy. a beauty queen we did this last year we're doing it again to be named Miss Persia or Miss Beth Ariel if you want it's time to go to the spa Esther had beauty treatments for 12 months 12 is the number of complete perfection she couldn't have looked any better 
God is in the process of making us beautiful too. Just as Esther was being prepared to go before the king, so Messiah Yeshua puts us through a spiritual beauty treatment of holiness. It begins by stripping us of doubt and peeling away our discouragements, polishing our inner core that we might shine more and adding not the oil of ole, but the anointing oil, the oil of gladness to render us faithful. This period of preparation, we know, doesn't last just 12 months, but it lasts a lifetime. And as the king was ready to give half his kingdom to the queen, how greatly we are lavished with the riches of his blessing in our lives. How great, O oh Lord, is your grace. Oh Lord. The book of Esther is, is a book that's full of irony, full of twists. Mordechai, a Jew, refuses to bow to Haman, and later Haman bows before Esther, a Jew. One of the greatest ironies in scripture concerns Yeshua himself. How come Jesus could not save himself when he claimed he could save the world? Jesus died to give life. That's an irony. And the baby born in the stable gives complete stability to our lives as we walk with him. Some ironies are hard to understand because God's ways are contrary to our own. And we will spend centuries and even an eternity trying to unravel the mystery of God's great love. The irony here is that he loves what is unlovable. We are recipients of this great irony. What an amazing love.
Pour toi, alors. 
rentre dans mon cœur. Mon esprit qui est tout lourd, qui est tout lourd. Entends le chant d'amour. Des noms pour racheter. Je prendrai mes faibles mots pour te J'avais l'éternité, je ne pourrais pas l'exprimer. Mais dans les battements de mon cœur, tu entendras toujours. Merci pour la vie, pour la vérité et pour le chemin. Alors entends mon cœur. Pour te dire quel Dieu merveilleux tu es Mais je ne pourrais pas te dire combien je t'aime Alors entends mon cœur Alors entends nos cœurs, nos esprits qui te louent. Entends le chant d'amour, de tout est racheté. Nous prendrons nos faibles mains pour te dire que Dieu Merci de nous avoir donné cette grâce de pouvoir t'adorer en esprit et en vérité, à travers ton Fils unique Yeshua, notre Seigneur. Il est allé sur la croix, Seigneur, pour souffrir, afin que nous puissions avoir la joie aujourd'hui. Nous reconnaissons, Seigneur, ce grand cadeau de vie éternelle. Nous reconnaissons les souffrances de notre Seigneur Yeshua sur la croix. De notre Messie. Et nous te louons Seigneur, nous te remercions, nous te louons et que cette offrande que nous offrons aujourd'hui, qu'elle puisse être une forme d'adoration. Que ton nom soit loué au nom de Yeshua. Amen. You know what's great about science? It's great when we can see it subservient to the one who created it. Science is under God's authority. Yet we have made the Hubble, desiring to discover and have authority even over the universe, to claim it for our own. But there is a promise from God. As hard as we might try, we will never be able to count the stars in the universe. He will ne never let us know enough 
that would cause us to trample on the beauty of his profound mysteries and promises. I read something great yesterday, that the only place in the entire Old Testament where we have mention of the New Covenant is in Jeremiah 31. The only place. And this passage deals with Israel. She is so closely related to the New Covenant, there is no replacing her, ever. Count the stars all you want. As long as the laws of physics remain intact, Israel will live. And even science confirms her perpetual existence. Let's sing it to the Lord, huh? It is written that the day is about to dawn when I will make a new covenant with you, Jacob. I will put my love in it, I will write it on their hearts, I will be their God and they my people, from the greatest to the least. Jerusalem 
Matov. It is good to be together praising one living God. Amen. 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 Shevet Achim Gam Yafah Hine Mato Shevet Achim Gam Yafah Hine Mato Manai Shevet Achim Gam Yafah Hine Mato Manai Shevet Achim Gam Yafah Hine Mato Hine Mato we hold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. We hold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. In unity, to dwell in unity. La 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 la. Qu'il est doux pour tes frères de demeurer ensemble. À qui il est doux pour tes frères de demeurer unis. En unité, nous sommes en unité. La 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 la. En unité, nous sommes en unité. La 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 la.